This video explains how to change the classes of data frame columns automatically using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And now you can see that our data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. The first column contains letters, the second column contains numbers, and the third column contains numeric values. Now, in order to check the classes of all the columns in our data frame, we can use the sapply and the class functions, as you can see in line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that at this point of the tutorial, all the classes of our data frame columns are the character class. And as you have seen already by having a look at our example data frame, the columns x2 and x3 should not have this class because these columns contain integers and numeric values. So if we want to change the classes of all the columns in our data frame automatically, then we can use the type.convert function as you can see in line nine. And within this function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. And then we also need to specify the s.is argument to be equal to true. And in this case, I'm also creating a new data frame object that I'm calling data new. And this data frame object will contain the output of the type convert function. So after running line nine of the code, this new data set is appearing at the top right, and we can print the content of this new data set to the bottom in the RStudio console. And at this point, you cannot really see a big difference in the output. However, this difference gets visible by applying the sapply and class functions once again to our new data set in order to check the classes of our new data set. As you can see in line 12 of the code, so after running this line of code, you can see another output which shows the classes of our different columns. And as you can see, the class of the first column x1 has been kept as the character class because this column actually contains characters. The class of the second column, however, has been changed to the integer class because this column contains integers. And the class of the third column x3 has been changed to numeric because this column contains numeric values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.